Now, it was expected to be a temporary structure to celebrate the millennium, but the London Eye is now in its 16th year, and after weeks of engineering works, it's now back in action, as Sarah Harris reports. Moving again after weeks of engineering work, following 16 years of turning and 60 million visitors, the works have been essential to maintain the giant frame. It's checking all the, the structure, the hydraulics that, that uh, actually drive the wheel, uh, the capsule uh, ventilation systems, the electrical systems. So it's actually a very complex and sophisticated uh, piece of machinery. So there's a, there's a great deal that needs to be done um, to make sure that it's, it's at its absolute best. The final parts of the capital's Millennium Wheel are being put in place on the banks of the Thames this week. When finished, the London Eye will be the largest observational wheel in the world. Back in 1999, the wheel was the highest public viewing point in London. It was expected to be a temporary structure to celebrate the millennium, but now it's the most popular paid-for attraction in the country. Nick from Highbury has brought friends from Spain to see his favourite city from inside a pod. He says there's no better way to see London. I think it's the location. It's an iconic piece of architecture as well um, in the London skyline. And yeah, you get amazing views over Westminster and uh, Big Ben and all the House of Parliament. Yeah, it's just a, a, great, a great place to see the entire city. After passing its latest MOT, engineers say there's no reason the wheel shouldn't keep turning for decades to come. Sarah Harris, BBC London News. After a rain